Uncensored. Welcome to Coasternet Uncut. What's up, Ride Warriors? We are here at Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana for this year's edition of Hollywood Nights. Now, this year's edition is called Your Classic Park, so you know I'm here uh, partly for the because dinosaurs. of the, for the dinosaurs. Yeah. And, and they've got T-Rexes running around here all night. Kind of cool. Um, but why we're here today is we had a very special opportunity this morning uh, to both check out us. both of us. So uh, on Friday night of Hollywood Nights, they actually have an auction for different uh, for different uh, experiential I right. items. Uh, so I actually took a bid down and won the auction to get a chance to walk around uh, the Sally Dark Ride of Gobbler Getaway. So I right. uh, woke up early in the morning, got a chance to walk through it uh, with a group of people. Uh, normally, you don't get you're not allowed to film inside there. Um, you're not allowed to like take pictures, so we actually got a chance to do all of that. Now I know you're a big Gobbler Getaway fan, uh, but you didn't get to go on it. So how, how do you feel about that? No, you know what? It's it was really uh, really interesting that you you got got the chance to do that because as you know, I really like the interactive dark dark rides. This morning uh, when the park opened, uh, we actually rode Gobbler Getaway four different times trying <laughs> to get the score, and I finally tied your score. Oh no! I tied your score. I didn't beat it, but I tied your high <laughs> score from this morning so you and i at some point later today are gonna have to go head to head yeah. here but you got to actually do the little bit of a walkthrough we'll explain uh in a different video why i didn't get to go with but tell us about what you got to do uh in your walk through the gobbler getaway what was it like so so we started off like i said we got here early in the morning um you know got to walk through the entire thing now what we learned is that um that it, that the, the audio is completely separate uh, from the animatronics inside. Okay. So the first thing is they had to figure out how to turn on the audio without actually engaging the ride. Because, you know, we're walking through the area, so you kind of want to have it locked out. You don't want to have that stuff live just in case somebody doesn't know, hits the start button, and now we got people, you know, cars inside the dark yeah, ride running people over. That. That's a bad scenario. Yeah. So they had to lock everything out, but then they still want to give us the full experience of having the audio play. So they got that set up. Um, and then later on in the tour, we learned um, that you know that you know Gobbler Getaways typical uh, Sally Dark Ride where you shoot things and then stuff happens when you trigger those effects. You round up the turkeys. Yeah, you round up the you don't shoot them. You oh, round up sorry, the sorry, the turkeys. sorry. And I got a little confused because on our tour we actually were shooting the turkeys because there's a special gun that the maintenance crew uses in the morning to make sure that all the animatronics work. Really? And it's actually in the shape of a gun that if you know Gobbler Getaway, it's kind of like this weird- It's um, family friendly. We want yeah. the turkey calls, not the actual guns that you yeah. see on like the boo blasters. Absolutely. So you, so you have this gun on the ride uh, that, that resembles almost like a, like a Star Trek motion picture phaser. Um, if you know what that looks like, I know you have no idea what that looks like. Star Wars. But uh, st whatever. Uh, so, but for the test runs, they actually have a real uh, six shooter gun. So people are going around and we actually got the chance to shoot the turkeys. Ah. So a uh, very special. Now uh, does something different happen when you use no, that gun? It's no. the same thing. Same okay. animatronics, same everything. <laughs> it's actually, uh, it's wireless and it's run on battery. So it's not hooked up to anything. So it's kind of cool uh, that you're able to walk through and shoot stuff like that. Um, you know, so we got to see all the animatronics got up close. We learned that the turkeys actually have different names for themselves, where uh, on the back of every turkey, an animatronic, uh, there's like kind of a name. So you have like Bucket Turkey or, you know. Are like, they, so they're named after based of where they come out of? Yeah, where they come out of. So, so that way the maintenance crew, if they reference, hey, you know, Bucket Turkey one's not working, they can actually go and know exactly. It's Otherwise, like Roller Coaster Tycoon a little bit. Yeah. Because otherwise, Basket Turkey Three <laughs> has Basket fallen turkey. asleep. Because <laughs> yeah. otherwise, how would you even know? Um, so we got some good video. Got to walk through the whole thing. Uh, we filmed the entire, so you'll be able to find the walkthrough on that as well. Um, you know, and just just seeing it in a different light, seeing a different perspective. That sometimes you get stuck in there, as we found out today. Uh, high Some of us shoot all the targets they can yes. to uh, artificially raise their score. <laughs> uh, you know, you, you get to 1894, however you however you do it, by hook or I by crook. I did it the correct way, and you did it the cheap way. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. So you know, so getting getting the chance to look at all the dark right, the dark aspects with the black light, and then you you might not realize, but they actually pump in smells in there too. 
too. Yeah, right. That, that you have like this pumpkin, pumpkin spice, spice like, you know, sort of that kind of like thing. At, just different rooms has it, not all the way through. Right. Um, and then we also learned that there's some secret, you know, targets that nobody really knows about. Um, or that you probably do know about, but you, you may not. You can see them, but nobody really notices them until you repeat ride. Exactly. I, I started to notice them as we started yeah. to ride, and, uh, you know, our Aunt Sue pointed out and said, yeah, those are the ones we were pointing yeah. out. I was like, oh, okay. The, 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 they're kind of, like, on the edges, maybe, you know, outside your field of vision, if you look up or look down um, at different points of the ride. So, but overall, uh, for, you know, because the, the nice thing about the auction is, too, is that it all goes to Give Kids the World. And you know CoasterNet is a huge supporter of Give Kids the World. That's right. We've done, you know, coasting for kids a number of years. It's unfortunate that they don't no longer do that. Um, but this was a good way uh, for us to continue that tradition of helping Give Kids the World right. uh, through this auction to do the Gobbler Getaway. That's right. um, and it seems like they're going to have these different experiential things, too. You're going to talk about yours on a future episode coming up here. Uh, but maybe next year, uh, you know, Firecracker's the big ride this year here at Holiday World. Yep. They just built it, just completely restored. Refurbished Calypso-style ride for yeah. the Cedar Point folks who are familiar with that. So uh, they actually did an experiential uh, ex uh, thing this morning where you got to go under it and look at, you know, the, the inner workings of Calypso or a Firecracker. And uh, the problem was is that you couldn't do both. So it was either yeah. Gobbler Getaway or do the Firecracker experience. And I don't recall them doing this Gobbler Getaway one uh, in the past, at least not since I've been coming yeah. to this event. So that was something new. So that was kind of why, you know, at least one of us wanted to try yeah. and go on that one um, for sure. So th that was, hopefully that's something they do uh, in future years, because that's one I'd like to do uh, next year. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so for sure, check out uh, that walkthrough video that we have of Gobbler Getaway. Uh, pretty cool stuff. If, if, it's one of my favorite Sally Dark rides, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, and one um, of the long, longer ones too. Yeah, especially it's like your traditional like boo blasters, that sort of thing. But this one has that different theme to it, different uh, feel to it, um, and I think it's one of the best ones out there. So uh, I agree. Uh, so as always, thank you for joining us here, and ride on, ride warriors. See you guys.